No cosplay of Thor, God of Thunder, is complete without Mjolnir, his hammer, of course. But they all kind of suck, don't they? They're just plastic, nothing, garbage pieces. And they don't even summon lightning! Well, Caleb Kraft from Hackaday made his own Thor's hammer, and it does the next best thing. This is Caleb with Hackaday. As soon as I saw the Thor movie, I knew I needed that hammer. But hey, this is Hackaday, right? I can't just have the same crappy plastic hammer as everybody else. I mean, Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, can summon lightning. And you know what? So can mine. 80,000 volts worth. Oh, so Caleb Kraft, good work on your Mjolnir hammer. Mjolnir. Looks awesome. Yeah, so he made that by inserting a, a small Tesla coil into the top to produce the electric current. It's not the best looking hammer that I've ever seen out there. You could tell it's like styrofoam and it's spray painted. I thought it looked pretty impressive. I mean, what with the electricity. I feel as though if you're gonna throw around a number like 80,000 volts, uh -huh. it better look more impressive. It sounded impressive. It sounded super impressive, and it lit up those light bulbs from a yeah. distance. But like when you have to zoom in on it, and like you well, can see it not quite reaching Tim. a quarter, he can't really have it like shooting out everywhere. I'm just saying. So yeah. many cosplays would be ruined and lives. I'm just saying. <laughs> but when, like when you're going for a lightning summoning hammer cosplay type of thing. So what? You'd rather have a plastic piece of garbage that just makes sounds, maybe? No, I'm saying if you're going to carry something around so dangerous, it should at least be impressive. It is. Well, maybe it could have been way more dangerous. Now, I'm sure people in the comments are going to tell me I don't know how electricity works, and it's not the volts, it's the amps, or it's not the watts, it's the... You are just digging ohms. your own grave I, I know. Right I don't understand electricity all that well. This could maybe not be dangerous at all. It's a, probably a little dangerous, but it's enough that it can be controlled. I mean, most weapons are dangerous. We've, we've seen electrified weapons before. I think on TYTU, Anna and John had a, an electrified sword. Hell yeah, that's dangerous, but it's just like you need to know how to use it responsibly. And maybe that was the responsible amount of electricity he could produce while cosplaying. I'll bet he can't even take this to conventions. Mm. If he doesn't really activate it, maybe he could. I mean, he could slide the battery That's out. That's like saying, oh, yeah, I have a real gun in my cosplay. Well, yeah. the safety's on. Don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. If he probably shouldn't. He'd have to have it checked. And they'd be like, uh, we're taking out your Tesla coil, yeah, No Mr. amount of pink foam on the top And then he'd swing it around, and then he'd be like, no, you super give me that right now. We're checking that. But you know how, like, the cosplay swords, they check them by, like, wrapping a piece of plastic around it? You can't control this shit. You can't no. control Mjolnir. You can't control lightning. No. Not at all. Yeah. That's why I like it. So, yeah, I, I, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's a very cool thing that he made. Um, I'm sure it could do a lot of damage. Tesla coils. Yeah. And in the dark, really close up, it looks super neat. I'll tell you what. If he was going for home protection, though, mm -hmm. that's a pretty badass stun gun. Yeah. Scare a lot of burglars. Yeah. Especially if it was in full costume. All the time. Uh huh. Somebody breaks into his house at night. That's starts my, swinging that that's hammer. That's my around. idea. Acting like I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's 80% of the battle plan. Yeah.